What's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And Azul sent me their new mini PC. This is the newest version with the... It's like a J4, I don't know, but it's it's the newest processor in these things. And it has 64 gigs of storage, which is huge because of my Byte 3. And this guy right here, the older version, only has 32 gigs. So a lot of times when I go to do Windows updates or something... I have to basically just find every last little file, temporarily delete a program that's big that I want to install later on. So 64 gigs is a huge step forward. I would love for them to completely and utterly drop the four gigs of RAM as even an option. I think that it's 2020, almost 2021, and you need at least two gigs to even run Windows. So you have less than two gigs. You have just over one gig to launch Chrome and utilize other apps. So I think that moving forward, if they could completely drop four gigs, they'd make a lot of customers happy. And people might even completely not even consider this thing because of that four gigs of RAM. I mean, that's going to be good enough for like web browsing and small things since you're not going to be playing games or doing anything big on this thing. It's going to be mostly for streaming and stuff which you can get away with four gigs on that but it's still it's uh, i'm just disappointed to see four gigs of ram all right cut the seal there's some warranty some how to use it guide and information you've got the accessories box here which i'm going to definitely talk about this check this out it's a barrel plug. I mean, I wish it was type C, but it's a barrel plug. And then we have a little extender here in case the like port on your TV is really close to another port. And that's just going to be a thick boy and not fit properly. So that's very nice to see. And then that's it. Now, why is the barrel plug such a big deal? And I know you can power it through the uh, type C display port there. But look at this. This is for my Access Plus. It's micro USB. I have to have this in there at the absolute perfect angle, right? And then pray to God I don't have to plug in USB or unplug USB or my table gets bumped or something. This is my third replacement. I have bought and they have sent me a replacement. These cables are just so unreliable and honestly this thing probably hasn't been powered on in months because it's so much trouble to get it to have the right angle where it connects and it doesn't get moved or but yeah this thing no this is the way to go so you don't have to use the barrel plug but that barrel plug isn't going to be like the micro usb connection and you're not going to have to replace this every freaking <laughs> You got an SD card slot there, micro, uh, for storing like large video files that you don't want to put on the 64 gigs of internal storage. You've got a USB 3, so you can do like USB hard drives or game controllers or whatever you need. And then you've got that Type-C port. And then, of course, you've got that networking, which if you want to use wired, you can do that. You don't have to use wireless. Then you've got a headphone jack combined with a microphone jack. So pretty pretty neat little thing it's saying basically if you do something that's quite extensive this thing can get quite warm since it's a fanless pc after a long time this th can get quite warm and it's basically just telling you be careful there's a chance that you'll touch it and you won't enjoy it <laughs> and then there's a little wi-fi antenna let's go ahead and plug this thing up I'm using my Pixel 4a to record this, but uh, this is a big part of this little Azul PC in here. Look at this. All these updates I have to download and install. Got plenty of internal storage to do that. And it is a much faster processor than what I'm used to with Azul. So it's 2 gigahertz base speed, but it boosts up to like 2.64 that I'm seeing constantly. All right, so it's been a few days since the unboxing, and I want to go ahead and show you some stuff. Actually, it running and working. So right now we have the VGA port 
going to this monitor right here. And the odd thing is it does have, this is a dock from Inatech, so completely separate from this company. But, uh, so the interesting happens, whenever I plug in the HDMI, I lose my VGA and it switches over <laughs> to my HDMI, which is really weird. So this monitor doesn't work and this one's the one and only monitor. So I unplug that and it goes back to this monitor right here in just a moment. So that's odd. I don't know. It's something within the tech, completely separate from them. But I was hoping that I would be able to have a one cable solution where I could have two displays, my mouse, my ethernet, and everything. I've got this powered through a 30 watt power delivery connector. If I were to disconnect this, I would lose some of the features such as like the display, for example, probably because the unit doesn't have enough power to power it. So what I have been doing is using the built-in HDMI on the stick and then using the HDMI. So now if we go ahead and take that and put it in the Type-C port, you will see that Windows makes some sounds. And now we have our mouse, which is connected to this little guy that's just below the video. And now we have two monitors. Look at that. So I'll go to my display options here. And you can see that we have monitor one. Let's identify. If I click identify, I can see I have monitor one here and monitor two there. We can see that monitor one is 1080p 60 hertz and monitor two is 1080p 60 hertz. We have our internet going through the dock, so not directly through the stick. So let's go ahead and run a speed test and see what kind of speeds we get using that. Okay, well, it, it was up to Let's open Task Manager actually so you can see the network. See, there we go, 830. Let's do it one more time with the Task Manager open. And you can see that we are at 974 megabits per second. And now is a good time as any to show you how this thing performs with web browsing. So we will go to YouTube and we will go ahead and search for Big Buck Bunny and see in real time, just how long all this takes. So YouTube loads up here in just a moment. I do have an app locker. You know, it's, it's not the world's fastest device. So I do have something that's helping a little bit with everything. So let's type in Big Buck Bunny. And it's right here. And we'll play this in 4K. Even though it's only 1080p monitor. And we'll enable stats for nerds. All right, so our CPU is like chill. It's it's calming down a little bit now, but it was at 100 there. Let's turn our monitor down. The sound I have is coming through the monitor speaker. But yeah, so we're about 60% on the GPU and we're about 30% or so. We've only dropped a handful of frames, but yeah. You wouldn't notice it with your own eye. It's uh, This is just stats for nerds. I'm going to go ahead and skip along in the video here and see how long that takes. Starts playing just fine. And we've already got a pretty good buffer going, so let's do this one. I did go ahead and clear everything before this video. I did control shift delete and I chose everything right there, all time. So YouTube playback on this is very good. If you wanted to plug this into a 4K TV, you would be able to enjoy that just fine. My biggest complaint is if you look over here at the memory, we're sitting at three gigs used of four gigs. If this unit had included eight gigs of memory, I don't see any problem with it at all. This is by far faster than my Byte 3 that's literally behind my monitor, which this has replaced because it has a much faster processor than the Byte 3 does. Byte 3 Plus, I believe. Oh, and a little, little square box that sits on the desk. They did release a Byte 4, by the way, but this is the Access 4. So YouTube playback's just fine. My internet is at my full speed. Uh, again, my only complaint is I have one tab open on YouTube, and I'm already sitting at like three-fourths of my memory being used. So media consumption? Definitely. Most definitely. For an everyday browsing web pages and doing day-to-day -day things, that four gigs of RAM is just not enough. That's definitely what's holding this device back. But 
Something else I wanted to go ahead and test out was Among Us. So let's go ahead and show you Among Us playing on this thing. Make sure we got everything closed out, which we don't have anything else open. This is gonna be a little hard to show, so let's do this. Let's make this always on top, and let's make this full screen. And I guess I can hide. Actually, there's a way to do mini. There we go. One of these days I'm gonna get a capture device again. I don't have one right now. But here we go. Let's uh, let's move this over here. And let's go ahead and play. So let's take a look at our settings here, graphics. We do have it on 1080p. You could lower it. And in fact, I know that it struggled with the other thing. So let's do that. Let's hit apply. Let's see if it struggles as much. We do have VSync enabled. And just for this video, we'll censor chat in case someone says something. But let's go ahead and play a game. All right, we'll see. Oh, wow, first game, I'm the imposter. Uh, interesting. Let's see if I can move my camera. Okay, let's go ahead and do this task. All right, let's kill the lights. That's running very well at 720p. Wow. This is way better than like 1080p was. Oh, that wasn't my best move there. Let's see if I can intercept this guy oh wow okay i was really hoping i'd be able to intercept that guy before he told on me or maybe he was doing his task and didn't see it okay let's change it back to 1080p just to show you this is very impressive on this setting right here oh this thing struggled i didn't see anything that's what i saw us do with the robot pet oh man orange vented I did not. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get voted off. But yeah, see? It struggles. Like, 1080p? Don't do it. Don't do it. Hold on. Oh, can I vote purple? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> this thing can play this game. Definitely do 720p or something a little bit lower. And then it only goes, you know, to, I don't know, 70% or so. Brown's going to tell me because I faked a task. This is really fast movement speed. Where is purple? I got to find purple, man. Where's purple? Oh, come here. <laughs> Anyways, 60%, way better than 720p. This is such a great little device. We're playing all of this on a little tiny computer here that is something that would fit in an HDMI slot and you'd never even know it existed. GG. <laughs> I'm gonna move myself out. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> All of this on this little guy right here. This little thing right here. Hiding in the back of your TV. Connected to your monitor. Oh man. Definitely get this if you're interested in getting a little, you know, media stick or something. Maybe get it for someone who doesn't have a lot of space because they can just stick it to the back of their monitor and they got a little portable computer. This would be great for like business use. You know, you carry it in your freaking pocket, a whole computer, plug it into HDMI and you got a full Windows 10 installation ready to go. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.